In our world of modern conveniences and our modern transportation systems, imagine, if you will, living 200 years ago. There were no planes. There were no cars. There were no roads as we think of them today. Welcome to the Canal Age. Although this ditch may appear to be insignificant, it was once the superhighway of yesterday. It's the i &M Canal, also known as the Illinois and Michigan Canal. 150 years ago, mentioning the i &M Canal was like saying Route 66 or any other major highway of today. It was well known, but today most people never heard of the i &M Canal. The i &M Canal was the last link of canals and waterways connecting New York and the east to the Mississippi River and down to the Gulf Coast. We're in Chicago. This is the Chicago River South Branch. This is Origins Park, which is the original start of the i &M Canal in Chicago. Looking to the north, if the gates were on the lock here, the water would rise high enough to meet these buildings as it did in the 1880s shown here. I'm in Lockport. This is the old Gaylord building. It was originally a canal warehouse. It's now a museum and restaurant. The first six months the canal was open, 162 boats used it and paid tolls more than $87,000. That money collected along the canal was taken here to the canal headquarters. We're coming up to Lock 1 right now. This is Lockport. Although the canal's original design called for 15 locks, and this is lock one, it additionally had two more locks, one at Chicago and one at Romeoville. In this area from Lockport to Joliet, the canal drops 50 feet within five miles. And this is the biggest descent for the shortest distance on the canal. And that's why there's five locks in this area. Each of these locks are 10 foot lifting locks which lift or lower the boat 10 feet to the next canal level. The average lifting of these locks is 10 foot, but the highest lifting lock is lock 14, which lifts 13 feet. All locks are 18 feet wide and 110 feet in length. These locks made of stone looks like something that the Romans might have built. Here we're looking to the north and we can see how it looked like in 1880. My boat. I was born August 9th, 1868. My boat was also built about this time. I was born in a canal boat near Seneca. My parents raised me on this boat. My name is Joseph Foster. I would grow up and learn life on the canal during the warm months of the year. Although I did not own this boat, I would be captain of this boat for many years. That's why it's my boat. Some people think my boat was originally named Clyde. Others say it was first called the City of Henry. In 1875, it was built or rebuilt in Chicago as a steamboat with twin screws to propel it. Although the boat would be on the i &M Canal. Since it had its own power, it would also push other boats and operate on the Illinois River. 